Hi guys, today we'll be writing a function Christmas tree that takes in an integer n and prints the following Christmas tree pattern. Here, the tree trunk always has a height of 2. So if our input n is 3, our Christmas tree looks like this. The top triangle has a height of 3 and the bottom trunk has a height of 2. If n is 4, our top triangle has a height of 4 and our trunk still has a height of 2. And if n is 5, our top triangle has a height of 5 and our trunk still has a height of 2. So we'll be doing this in one line. Do pause this video for a short while to give it a go. Okay, before we jump straight into the code, let's try to find some patterns within our Christmas trees. So in this um, Christmas tree, we are going to have two spaces first, followed by one star, two space and one star. We are going to have one space and three star. We are going to have zero space and five star. And this is just going to be the trunk. Similarly, here we are going to have um, three space and one star. We are going to have two space and two stars, try three stars. We are going to have oops, one space and five stars. And we are going to have zero space and seven stars. Here we are going to have Four space, four space and one star. We are going to have three space, space and three stars. We are going to have two space and five stars. We are going to have one space and seven stars. And we are going to have zero space and um, nine stars. Alright, so let's define our function. Define um, Christmas tree. So it takes in an N. So before we write it in one line, we need to be able to write it in multiple lines. So first things first, let's try to print this um, top triangle over here. So for i in range n, let's print i to check what's happening first. Christmas tree, phi, let's run this. Yep, so it's just gonna print this. So first things first, we need to print 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So because um, this increases by one and this decreases by one, there's going to be a negative i involved. So if we print this, we are going to get negative 1, negative 2, and so on. So the increase is correct. So we just need to add n to this. And let's see what ha what's happening. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we just need to minus 1, and we are going to get 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So now next thing, we are going to print 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So since this increases by 2, we know that there's a 2i involved. 2 times i, and let's double check if it prints the correct numbers. Nope, not exactly correct, but we just need to add 1 to make it correct. Yep. So next thing, we need to just multiply this by a space times this thing. And we need to multiply this by a star character times this thing here. And we are going to get our Christmas tree top triangle. So next thing here, we are going to print the trunk of a Christmas tree. So it has a height of 2, so for i in range 2. So we are going to print the, the spaces first. So this is going to be the same as our first one, so n minus 1. It's going to be n minus 1. Then we are going to add with 1 star. So if we run this, we uh, will get our Christmas tree. Let's check if it works for uh, different inputs. Yep, looking good. And here. Yep. Next, let's figure out how to write this function in one line. So define Christmas tree. Let's use the same name. So here. Here we need to convert our for loops into list comprehension. So it's going to look like this. We have some square brackets and then we are going to have this. Print for i in range. And so following this exactly and we are going to have one more here so let's copy and paste this print for i in range 2 let's see what happens yep it works yep 4 works and 5 should also work yep and there we have it printing the Christmas tree in one line. 